Hi. Right, today I want to explain about something called an ocular torticollis. Um, that's a bit of a mouthful. A torticollis is when you get a tight neck muscle and it causes bad posture. If it's really severe you can see someone has their neck like that all of the time. Um, sometimes it just happens when someone's a baby. Sometimes it's caused um, by the eyes not lining up properly and that's um, what's called an ocular torticollis. Um, now you can sort out whether it's ocular or not. Um, you simply cover one eye. If the posture changes then obviously it is. So uh, one way th that you can deal with that, because anyone who has one <laughs> will get neck pain <laughs> and obviously that works its way all down the food chain um, so you get pain in one of your feet and everything as well. Um, one way you can deal with that is you pop on an eye patch and that gives you monocular vision and you know I can tell for myself I do stand a lot straighter when I've got an eye patch on and it strengthens the eye that's not working quite as hard as it should be. Now the other thing you can do is, um, you know, if it's quite problematic, is ask for yoked prisms from your optician. Okay, I was joking. Um, yes, they do exist. Uh, yes, very, very specialist optician uh, will prescribe them. But you seriously will not get these from Specsavers or Vision Express or anywhere like that. Don't even bother. Um, now here's a pair of down base prisms um, which my optician prescribed for me. And I'm just going to put these up to the camera. As you can see, they make everything higher. Um, and at the time, because I had quite bad neck strain, I was having difficulty bending to look down anyway. So he prescribed me these um, to start with which were a tremendous help. Now you will not get um, these, like I said, at any major optician. Um, an independent one may prescribe them if it's someone who has a speciality in prisms. Um, now with these you can see that both of these the bigger part of the prism is on the bottom. Now a yoked prism sometimes called ambient lenses is where they're switched round so one is up so that would be turned round and one is down. Um, and they're sometimes used to help with um, say if you've got children who have some very bad prom pro problems with balancing um, what it seems to do is just sort of completely uh, disturb the vision so much that they they don't get distracted by it and it helps them to stand up properly and again as I mentioned for ocular torticollis. Um, now getting a one up one down arrangement is near impossible. Um, you have to go to an optician who specialises in that particular thing. Um, they, they're not going to hand it out willy-nilly um, for obvious reasons. Um, they have to be very sure of who they're giving, giving it to, um, all that sort of thing. But I'm now going to show you how I dealt with this and I'm absolutely totally so not suggesting that you do this at home definitely don't do this at home um, obviously because you know you could put your finger in the electrics and blow yourself up whatever um, but you know I'm just going to show you for educational purposes um, I felt that this arrangement would help me um, so I went ahead and did it for myself really. Um, okay, so how do you do this? Um, you know, I, I mean I could have just taken these out and 
put them on top of my glasses, but I'm rather attached to them. <laughs> um, you know, my, my optician did make them for me. I'm very grateful to him. Okay, so you need one of these, and you need one of these, and you go saw, 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 and then when you've broken a piece off, you saw along that bit there until you've got two pieces like this. Now, obviously, when you I'm choosing the edge of a ruler because it's a prism. Uh, now, obviously, you're certainly not going to do this at home, but when I um, get my rulers, um, I have a little look through them because sometimes the plastic's rubbish, you can't see through it at all. And um, if you notice, they have little bits of blue tack on, and I'm going to try and put them up as close as I can to the camera in a sort of um, in a yoke prism arrangement. So that one is down, that one is up. I don't know I don't know how well you can see through this at all. Um, let's take the blue tack off a minute. I'll explain the blue tack. Okay. Uh, right, if you can see anything through that, what you will be able to see, sorry, I can't hold it still because I'm a really awkward angle, but what you will be able to see that it breaks up the image completely because um, obviously one side is now lower, one side is higher. I think, how the hell can anyone see through that? Um, it's very strange how it works, but it does. Um, okay, why have I got blue tech? Well, because I personally do this with them. Oh, that's a bit high. Uh, okay. There we are. I stick them onto my glasses. And like I'm saying, you must never, never do this at home. Um, and I find it helps to readjust my balance. Now, what I've got is this is the eye that tends to move away and sort of be a bit weak. So this one has the down base prism. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <laughs> I thought I'd put it the wrong way around. And um, this eye has the up, up base prism, so it sort of redresses the muscular balance a bit as well. Um, now, I haven't sort of worn them lately, I should have, but I find they certainly do help. Um, they help with my posture, um, which is a problem. They do seem to help um, with with my eyes, with with the muscular problem for sure. Um, and I find that obviously you don't want to wear them all the time, but I find that say wearing a couple of hours a day um, really does help. Um, so there we are. That's that's those. Um, now it doesn't seem to, what they do say is it doesn't matter which prism is up, which prism is down over which eye. Um, personally, I find it it does matter um, because of the way I tend to tilt it, having them a particular way redresses that tilt. Um, but there we are. Thank you.